You might imagine the job of a neuroscientist as using brain slices to do experiments most of the time. However, as neuroscience advances, more and more research is now focused on very small organisms rather than brain tissues from humans. Although they are very small, thanks to evolutionary conservation, which is the fact that different species have similar structures and even similar codes of genes and proteins, the research on these tiny organisms can help to treat diseases in humans. Take yeast as an example. Yeast is a eukaryote. Since all animals are made of eukaryotic cells, research on yeast can shed light on human diseases. One discovery on yeast has led to the demystifying of a human disease called ALS, which is short for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Mutations of several genes in yeast were first found to be responsible for forming toxic protein aggregates in the cell. Researchers then found out that in ALS patients, a similar gene mutation also causes such protein aggregates. Another useful function of yeast in neuroscience is a genetic tool called GAL4-LAS system. The GAL4 protein from yeast can activate gene expressions in fruit flies. By using this tool on fruit flies, researchers are able to generate flies with a mutated gene of interest. They can then simply by observing the activities of these mutated flies to find out which gene mutation is responsible for motor difficulties similar to those on patients. This method has been used to discover treatment for Parkinson's disease. So as you can see, neuroscience is much more than just cutting brain slices every day. By taking advantages of evolutionary conservation among different species, even tiny organisms like yeast and flies can help us gain insight of our brains. Just as an elegant poem says, to see a world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wild flower, you can see the brain in the yeast.